Hello everyone. In this series of videos, we'll be learning how to find the last digit and the last two digits of certain products and exponents. So what I mean is, like you can see here, if you're given a product like this, 845 into 760, 675 into 912, what is the last digit of this product? And also the last digit of exponents, like 31 raised to the power 72, what is the last digit? Or 78 raised to the power 343, what is the last digit? And similarly, the last two digits. So we'll begin with finding the last digit. Okay, for a product, it's very, very simple. If you have multiplication of any numbers like this, to find the last digit, all you need to do is to take the last digit of each of these numbers and multiply them and see what is the last digit of this product. So for finding the last digit of this product, what we need to see is what is the last digit of 4 into 2 into 8 into 3. Now how do we solve this? 4 into 2 is 8. 8 into 8 is 64. Now instead of 64 again we can just take the last digit which is 4 into 3 is 12. That is the last digit is 2. I will redo it again so that you understand. 4 into 2 is 8 into 8 into 3. This is equal to 64 into 3 and if you solve it you will get 192. So which means the last digit is 2. But again, just for, you know, in the exam, you need to do it quickly. So all you need to do is keep leaving out the tens digit. So just to show this again, 4 into 2, 8. 8 into 8, 64. 64, leave out the 6, just take the 4. 4 into 3 again is 12. 12, leave out the 1, answer is 2. So this is how you find the last digit of a product. Now, in the exam, if you get a question like this, 81 into 82 into 83 and so on into 99, what is the last digit? Now, this is more a question of presence of mind than anything else. You would understand that this is simply, the last digit is simply the multiplication of the last digits of all these numbers. And if you see, there is sitting right in between this is a number called 90 with the unit digit 0. So, 0 multiplied by anything, x, y, z is simply equal to 0 and that's your answer. So, so in the last digit kind of questions, please look out for these numbers which end in 0, which can obviously make your write very simple. Okay, now if you want to find out the last digit of exponents, here we are looking at exponents. I need you to see something in this which is called the cyclicity of 4. So, please don't get worried by jargon. I will show you what exactly I mean. So, here I have written, this is basically powers of 2. So, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 2, 2 raised to the power 3 and so on up till 2 raised to the power 16. Now, what I want you to notice in this is here, the unit digit of 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. Now, if I go to 2 raised to the power 5, again it is 2. Right? Now, 2 raised to the power 9, again it's 2. 2 raised to the power 13, again it's 2. So, what have you noticed? 1, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 5, 2 raised to the power 9, 2 raised to the power 13 and so on. You will, If you do it further, you will see 2 raised to the power 17 also have the same units digit which is equal to 2. So if you see the difference between all these is 4. Now is this a fluke or is this some sort of rule? To check that, let us go to, let us say 2 raised to the power 2. So 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. Now, 2 plus 4 is 6. Now, go here. Again, the unit digit is 4. Then again, 6 plus 4, 10. Unit digit 4. 14, unit digit 4. So, now we saw that 2 raised to the power 2, 2 plus 4, 6, 10, 14 and so on. Again, the unit digit is coming out to be the same in all the cases. And again, you can see the cyclicity of 4. Now, if you see the other numbers also, you will see that this is not, rule is not only restricted to 2, it is followed in 3, 4 and 7 etc. also. So, here again we will see, let us check 3 and let us start from 3 raised to the power 3, 27, unit digit 7. Now, if I go to 3 plus 4 that is 7, again I find 7, 7 plus 4, 11, again unit digit 7. So, you can just, you know, if you haven't understood or if you are still not convinced, you can go through various cyclicities of 4 and you will see that whenever the power is basically, let us say I am having any number, 
7 raised to the power some power n and there will be some unit digit. If I have that same power plus 4 then I will have the same unit digit again. So this is basically the cyclicity of 4. Now if you have understood this we can now use this to find the unit digits of exponents. So before I go any further first I will take the very simple things. If your if the number that is raised to the power of something ends in 0, 1, 5 and 6 then these numbers raise the power anything will give these numbers themselves. So what do I mean? If I have obviously 80 raised the power let us say 3 it will end in 0. Similarly any 80 or any number which ends in 0 raise the power any number. So let me have 1, 5, 4, 0 raise the power 3, 6, 5, 4 whatever it is it will end in 0. The same is the case with 1, 5 and 6. So if I have 1, 4, 3, 6 raised to the power 5, 4, 2, 1, it will simply be 6. So, similarly for 5 and similarly for 1. This is because you can see 6 into 6 is 6. So, no matter how many 6 I multiply, I will always end up with a 6 in the units digit. And the same is the case with 1 and 5. So, this is fairly simple, this set of numbers. Any number ending in 0, 1, 5 and 6 will be, and this number raised to any power will end in 0, 1, 5 and 6 respectively. So that is straightforward. Now if you have the other unit digits like 2, 3, 4, 7, 8 and 9 then what do we do? We use that rule of cyclicity of 4. So what I mean is let us say I have 2 raised the power. Let us say I have 32 raised the power let us say 41. So this means I can see that 41 is basically if I divide 41 by 4. What do I get? I get remainder as 1 and this. So this means 41 can be written as 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 10 times plus 1. So this means 32 raised to the power 41 will have the same unit digit as 32 raised to the power 1. Because like I said there is a cyclicity of 4. If you keep adding 4 to 1 you will end up with 41. So this is a general rule that whatever power you have you just divide that by 4 and you find the remainder and once you find the remainder you find the number raised to the power that remainder and the unit digit will be the same. We will take some examples to make it clear but I just want to point out this case where the remainder is 0. If the remainder is 0 you do not raise that number to the power 0 but you raise it to the power 4. Now let's see some examples to make it clear. So let us say I have 37 raised to the power 43. So again let me start with 43 and I, let me divide that by 4. So I have remainder as 3. So unit digit of 3, 37 raised to the power 43 will be the same as the unit digit of 37 raised to the power 3. Now like I told you so this is 37 into 37 into 37. For unit digit you just need to take the last digit and see the multiplication. So I just need to take 7 into 7 into 7. So 7 into 7 is 49. Again I just take the unit digit 9 and ignore the 4 into 7. And this is 63. Again I ignore the 6. I am remaining with 3. So the unit digit will be 3. So similarly let me take another example. 28 raised by 36. Now 36 as you can see is divisible by 4. So in this case as I told you if it is divisible by 4 you can't take 0. So it will be the unit digit will be the same as 28 raised to the power 4. So again this is 28 into 28 into 28 into 28. 8 into 8 is 64. I just take 4. 8 into 8 is 64. Again I take 4. Unit digit is 4 into 4 16. That is ignore the 1. Unit digit is 6. Now so similarly you can you can take any number of examples and to make this more clear. So let me say I have 23 raised to the power 51. 51 divided by 4. I will get the remainder as. Let me just do it. I get the remainder as 3. So the unit digit is the same as 23 raised to the power 3. Which is 23 into 23 into 23. 3 into 3 9. 9 into 3 27. That is unit digit will be equal to. 7. So this is how you can solve the questions. You only need to remember that if you get the remainder as 0 
you will not take raised power 0 you will take raised power 4 and just to remind you these this rule is valid for when the unit digit is 2 3 4 7 8 and 9 because for the other ones 1, 0 1 5 and 6 anyways it will you will only get these digits in the unit digit